I've got the camera set up to film a YouTube video, Jess's YouTube video, um, and guess who's not ready yet? I've been waiting for her forever. Do you have it? Yes, I have. Sweet. Yeah? What are you doing? Vlogging. What do you think I'm doing? We're vloggers now, babe. <gasps> Jess, oh my gosh! Oh, oh, we need to film this video, babe. A few things are going on right now. I'm setting up for a video, Jess's YouTube video, because I'm a good fiance, right Jess? Yeah. Thanks babe, love you. Well, are you vlogging? I love you. I love you. Thanks babe. And uh, she's trying to figure out, Sarah's trying to figure out the new uh, iPhone update. What is it, iOS 10? Yeah. Yeah. Jess <laughs> needs to hurry up out of the bathroom. Oh, there she is, high five babe. Come in, let's film this video. <gasps> did I scare you? No. Yes, I did. You flinched a little bit. <laughs> we just finished the Q and A, right, Jess? Sweet, let me vlog. You want to vlog? We just finished the Q and A. Yes, we did. It was an engagement Q and A, and you guys asked questions about our engagement. That's probably already up. That's probably already up on her channel. So, um, so go <laughs> have a look. Shameless promo. Go Come subscribe. In. Subscribe to me too. Um, Link in the description. Wait, Come wait. in. We're going. Sorry. We're going shopping. I'm going to now, the mall. Um, because I have to get an outfit. Are you gonna look for anything? Probably not. I'm probably just gonna take around the vlog camera and annoy you while hmm. you shop. Per usual. Um, and my sister's here, and she she's actually leaving today. So sad. <laughs> and so she's gonna go shopping too, and. My arm gets so tired. I'm holding this thing. I feel like we should explain because in that engagement Q and A, we a question was asked about like what went down when I proposed. Why are you? You're like putting me behind you in this. <laughs> a question was asked, Jessica. In the video, a question was asked about uh, how the proposal actually went down. So I feel like we should explain that in this. Okay. Okay, but that's kind of a story that Gabe has to explain because I just thought it was a date and I was like loving. It as a date. Yeah, we'll explain it after we get back from the mall. Okay. A lot of things, just a lot of things went very wrong, but in the best way possible. You wanna jump on my back? Go, do it, do it, do it. Oh, ooh, come on, you have to wrap your shoulders over my, over, there we go. Piggyback goals, come in, come in. <laughs> so yeah, we'll explain that later in this vlog. Oh my gosh, you just picked me up. Yeah. Yeah, good job. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know. Just, just, just. Sorry, I had to. Ready? What? Come here. What? Come here. What? Come here. What? Oh, sweet. Are you ready to leave? Yeah. See, are you ready to leave? Okay, wait. Sweet. Are you ready to leave? Yeah. That was so cool, right? Bye. I'm always waiting Just... on him. Always waiting on him. Excuse me? I've been waiting for ages. Wait, let's go. I happened to pull out my computer. Who's the one at the door? Don't even bullcrap me right now. I was, I happened to pull out my computer oh. when you happened to finally be ready, so. Oh, okay. See, she's not even ready. Let me just go back to my computer. Cause I'm waiting for all you girls. Sweet. Okay. Jess just tried to scare me on her Snapchat, but guess what? Jess <gasps> did I scare you? No. Yes, I did. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you know about uh, Hollywood, California? Oh, let me tell you a thing about Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> I'm in the deep, deep end. Can't jump. I'm feeling guilty. You have to sing, everyone. Cause the oh, water's yeah. just right. Be wrong might be the time of your life. <laughs> so, so jump, jump on in with me. I you feel, feel like you're dreaming. dreaming. So try, try, try to follow the group. Oh, let me see the camera. No, sorry. Yeah. Thank you. Nice try, buddy. Look who's zooming in now. Ha, ha, ha.
Shut the camera off. Why? You're wasting the battery. <laughs> Adidas squad. Wait, no, it's Adidas. Oh, what did you say there? You said Adidas? Americans say Adidas, Australians say Adidas. Uh, Americans say Nissan, Australians say, say Nissan. Nissan. And we say Hyundai, you guys say Hyundai, Oregano and or Oregano. Yeah, you guys say Oregano. But we say Target and they say Terraget. <laughs> <laughs> they don't actually. <laughs> we made it to the mall. You know what that means? Their time to shop and my time to find a chair and sit down for a while. <laughs> you silly. You shop just as much as we do. No, 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 no. I shop much quicker. I get as much stuff, but I shop at like a tenth of the time. I would go, okay, this store, this store, this store I like. I go into them, pick what I want, and that's it. And that's it. Okay. Hello and welcome to my Holy Grail coffee shop. So we're in Northridge right now and um, this is my Holy Grail because it's just a really spacious, you know, it's not too um, squishy. The people are so friendly and um, what do you have to say about it? Are you done? <laughs> <laughs> um, what are we trying? Um, a pumpkin spice latte. I've never had one before. Call me, call me not American. I've never had one. Okay, just that's very close. But yeah, I'm I gonna try his. Yeah, I ordered one, so we're gonna try it. And then so. Sarah. She's judging us vlogging. She's not in the mood to vlog. <laughs> ah. In West Philadelphia, born and raised on the playground where I spent most of my days. Uh, pumpkin spice latte, ladies and gentlemen. And we're about to officially turn into white girls. So let's see how this goes. Good job, Sarah. <laughs> Hopefully that works. Sweet, please, can we, can we can we do it, please? Build the bed? No, ride that train. Oh. Please, babe, come on. <laughs> We've got our food. Can we just appreciate how fat we're gonna be after this? Mm. This wasn't mm. my idea, by the way. I got the smallest burger. <laughs> You're so healthy, Jess. Just finished my burger. Use a napkin. No look shot. Babe, show him the trash can down there in the pocket. Obviously, I uh, have to be safe on the road. Keep my eyes on the road. So that's why there's going to be a no look shot right here. Good Did I make job, it? yeah. No way. Yo, yeah. I'm tired. Ugh. Me too. Oh, we've been running around a lot today. A lot of shopping. Yeah. Why is that, Jess? Um, because I wanted to. Um, she still has makeup on her hand. <laughs> we thought we would tell you the story of our engagement and because what happened and what went wrong. But whenever people like FaceTime us and ask the story, Gabe always tells it because I'm really slow at explaining stuff and I just suck at well, explaining stuff. Also, the story was like happening from my perspective. Yeah, I know. I guess you could say. So, um, should we should we tell it now? Sure. Here goes nothing. Right, it's a Friday. It's a typical Friday, we're going on a date. We're going down to Laguna Beach. It's about, it's, I was thinking it'd be like an hour 15 drive. It ends up being like an hour, close to an hour 45. Gabe accidentally took a wrong turn. On the way down, added 30 freaking minutes to he the drive. He was stressing so much. And at that point, Jess was like, babe, don't worry, we have all the time in the world. Yeah, we're like we're together right now. It's just a date, like it's fine. So at that point, I was like, Oh my gosh, we need to get down there, eat dinner, and get done with dinner so we can run to the spot so I can propose to her. We get down there and we have exactly one hour from walking into the restaurant to when we need to be driving away from the restaurant. I didn't have any reservations, so I was like, kind of like, oh, I really hope there's not a wait. Um, hopefully they can seat us right away. We go in, they seat us right away, and it ended up being so quick. Served the food quick, we ate quick, we paid ate for a quick. quick. Everything went perfectly, was out of there in 45 minutes. 15 minutes ahead of schedule, right? We drive over to the spot. We leave the restaurant, we're driving over to the spot. A ton of traffic. It ends up taking probably 10 minutes, 15 minutes longer than I thought it would take to get to the spot. So we're driving there, and as we're driving, it like goes up a hill, and then you can kind of see the area where we're going to. And as I'm looking up at the area, I see my three photographers there, so in my head I'm like, okay, check. 
that's going good for us. And I actually made a joke. I was like, hey, babe, look at those people up there. Goodness, they're at the spot we're going to. Like, you were like, oh, I just wanted it to be you and me. I was like, sweet, it's fine. Like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, so that was just to, you know, kind of psych her out a little bit. Get her uh, thinking. Oh, yeah, because I totally thought this. Yeah, no, just get her, make sure she wasn't thinking that they were taking photos of us. And then at that point, I start, we start pulling up closer to the um the spot and as we're getting to where we're gonna park we see cops getting out of their car and in my head i'm like they're going to my friends to tell them that they can't be there so i pull over jess is like no let's just leave like i don't even want to do it i was like it. let's like go somewhere else and i was like no i need to pull over to try and talk to them or something and at that point i was like oh my gosh i can't propose anymore I need to tell her that I was going to propose and just try and do it somewhere else. Two reasons. Two reasons. This has like the date of it. So it was the 9th of the 9th. And. So it had to be on that day. It had to be on that day. One of the videographer who took the video for us, I flew her down for that one day from San Francisco. So she like had a quick flight and um, to come down, but it was only for that day. So I was like, are you kidding me right now? This is all running through my head. I'm like, I have to. I have to just tell it because this isn't going to work. So we pull over, put the hazards on, and Jess is like, oh, let me just stay in the car. I'm like, yeah, yeah that's a good I was idea. like, um, <laughs> can I just stay here? And I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Just stay in the car. Cause like, yeah, yeah, stay. <laughs> yeah. And I was in my head, I'm like, thank God she wants to stay. So I put the hazards on, close the door, run over to them. As I'm approaching them, the cops are talking to my friends, my uh, photographer friends, and uh, they, the cops were like, are you the one who's proposing? And I was like, yeah, why? And they were like, oh, because uh, because you're proposing, you're getting these guys all out of $270 tickets each. So then the cops are like, uh, you can't, you know, you guys can't be here, blah, blah, blah. The sun was setting at this point, and I needed, like, I was supposed to be proposing at this time, and I wasn't, because these cops were telling us that we couldn't be there. But it wasn't like we weren't trespassing, or we didn't know that we were trespassing, because the area, there was like a fenced off area, but that was higher off than where we were at. The only thing, there was like a little, like nice rope. Like a, it was like a scenic looking rope thing, I guess you could say, just like rope that you just walked around. You could just walk onto the area of, of grass where I was planning to do it and then apparently it was illegal to do that. So, so at that point I asked the cops, I was like, is there anywhere we can do this, blah, blah, blah. And they're like, yeah, like half a mile, a quarter mile, half a mile down the road. Um, there's a parking lot that you guys can park at. It's just $15 to park. And then you can walk down the path there and just find a spot. It's like really nice there too. And I was like, okay, good. hopefully I, these guys are correct in what they're saying. I drive back and I couldn't drive my friends with me because they, um, they had already parked down at that lot and walked up. And now they have to walk all the way back. In my head, I'm freaking out. I'm like, I have to make it there before sunset. I have to set this up. Hopefully they are done walking all the way back by that time. Um, we're all kind of freaking out. Jess is the only calm one because she has no idea what's going on. <laughs> I get there, pay the 15 bucks, find a parking spot near the entrance of like the little trail thing that you walk down and uh, grab all the crap out of my trunk. I had my guitar with me because I had convinced her. Um, and I was like, oh, let me bring the new guitar that I got to. Uh, and we're like singing. And we're just singing and stuff. I was like, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Good idea. <laughs> so we're walking down and I'm trying to like sneak text my friends like to see where they are see what's going on like how quick they're gonna be there and right when we get to, bo to the bottom of the trail i see the spot where i end up proposing i'm like oh thank goodness this looks great so we go down there it's pretty windy so we you know put down the blanket together and make sure it's all good and i have the guitar and everything like that and then um, we're just having some fun just having some fun and i'm trying to buy time at this point for my friends to get there he got out his guitar and he started like singing some songs. We, I, we were, I was just singing like bullcrap songs just to buy time for them to get there. And um, I had it set up so I was facing, like if I was facing this way, Jess was here on this side and my friends would be coming from like behind her. So she he actually see that they were moved coming. me. We were sitting on the opposite sides and he was like, oh, maybe sit up like. Because my hair kept blowing in my face, so he told me to sit on the other side. Yeah. So when I looked at him, my hair wasn't so in my face. And she couldn't see the photographers. Come in. So I'm playing bullcrap songs, whatever, we're just hanging out. And then I finally see them walking, walking closer. And they have their cameras out, they're already ready, they're ready to go. Because they knew what was going down. They knew that we were on crunch time. The sun was setting, T-minus, 
however many minutes there was left of the sunset. And I decided, I'm like, okay, they're here. It's go time. I put down my guitar <laughs> and Jess was actually like, she was like, okay, my turn to play. Yeah, it's like my turn. And I was like, actually, I wrote you a letter. I was like, a I, was poem. Like, I was like, he's not letting me play the guitar, <laughs> what? But um, yeah, so I was just like, okay, no, I wrote you a poem. So I pulled out the, the thing and- But still, I was like, okay. Yeah, <laughs> so I read it to her. And I mean, basically from then on, it kind of went down. Yeah. Great, it went down how it was supposed to. He read me the poem and I was like, sweet, like that is so lovely. Thank you so much, that made my day. Can you read it again? She had me read it a second time and I'm just like, oh my gosh, okay, fine. In his head, he was kind of like, like, oh my gosh, the sun is setting, I need to propose. Yeah. But on the outside, he was like, huh, okay. And he said he read it to me again. <laughs> yeah, and then I gave that to her afterwards, and then I sang her the song. But meanwhile, the whole time, while I'm reading the poem um, two times and singing the song, she's talking through the whole thing. She's like, oh, sweet. That's so cute. I love you. That's so lovely. And I was just like, in my head, I'm like, I'm trying to be romantic here, like, please, shut up. Shut up. <laughs> but it ended up working out great. Um, after I sung the song, she still had no idea that I was going to propose. The last words of the song are, um, what, what is it? Uh, I'll, I pick, you, I pick yeah. you forever, I'll pick you forever. And um, I was like, oh, sweet. She still didn't get the picture. I stood her up, we start hugging. I'm, trying to like propose at this point and i just wanted to keep hugging if you if you've seen his video on him surprising me in australia and how i just kept going and hugging him it was kind of like that like yeah. i just wanted to keep hugging you and then i like pulled her away and i kissed her to try and like sneak you know in you know grab it grab the ring from my pocket and then she came in and gave me another hug and i'm just like oh my gosh jessica i'm trying to ask you to marry me right now. <laughs> and um, no, but then I finally like, after we hugged again, then I kind of, not, it sounds weird saying I pulled you You didn't away, like but. push me off, but you were kind of like. I was just like, hey, and I just like. You kinda, stopped the hug. I stopped the hug and then I reached forcefully. into my, <laughs> kind of forcefully, <laughs> not in a bad way. Though. No, it wasn't bad. Obviously I was trying to propose to you. <laughs> and then I uh, pulled the ring out of my jacket and. Got down on one knee and then. I blacked out. <laughs> she has no idea what happened after that. No, well, I remember you going, Jessica Marie Bauer, will you marry me? Jessica Marie Bauer? But when he like was going down and like getting on one knee, I just remember going, sweet. Mm -hmm. And then I remember him actually asking me. Yeah. And then we were like hugging and kissing and stuff. And I didn't realize that there were like the photographers next to us. They were right next to us. They were all, there, there was three of them. There were two, two photographers and one videographer. And they were next to us and like, to me, I was like, Jess knows now that, that they're there because she could hear the clicks going off. Because we were just like hugging and kissing and stuff at that point. I can't like, remember them being like loud. Like, they were so loud. I was sitting there and just like thinking like, Jess knows they're there obviously. Because the clicks were going like, chick, 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 chick. Mm. And then, and then at the end, I'm like, just meet my friends. And she turns <laughs> to the like, side <laughs> and freaks out that there's three people with cameras standing right there. Um, so that's how it went down. To me, it was absolutely perfect because obviously I didn't know that there were problems or anything. I so obviously didn't have any stress. Cop, we almost got tickets. Yeah. <laughs> it was almost, what would it have been? Like close to $900 worth of tickets. But then to a lot of you guys leaving comments on that video saying like, it looks staged. Yeah. I can't believe he, uh, people, he of, of course it's staged. I was planning to propose to her. No, but like some people like, thought that it was fake and that we like all like set it all up just for like clickbait or whatever. No. And I was like, no, and, the, and like people complaining that I had photographers and a videographer there who doesn't want their proposal photographed. You know what I mean? Or like, filmed as well. Yeah, like she would have been upset if I didn't have those things there. Like yeah. my, my brother who hasn't, doesn't even have social media made sure that there were photographers there to capture the moment. Like It's such a normal thing, but- like, And people were giving us crap about it. People like, just have like opinions about everything and I read some comments and I was like- Yeah, it was bizarre. Like, so to those of you who left those comments- Why? When and if you ever get proposed to or try to propose to someone, please get photographers there because you'll regret not having them. That's our story. That is our story. Bye. Come in. Here we are. <laughs> Power. It's nearly eight o'clock. We're about to say goodbye. Bye vlog. Oh, uh, bye Sarah Bauer. Bye, How do you feel? It's sad.
Okay, I'll see you like next week. <laughs> yeah, I know you'll be done. Okay, say goodbye now. Bye, Sarah. <laughs> Have a safe flight. We love you. Oh, bye. We left Sarah. <sighs> so sad. Now it, we're on our way to church. We are. It was less. It was, wasn't as sad as I thought it'd be. I know. No, no one cried. I think it's because you'll see her in like a week and a half. And yeah. I'll see her in like two and a half, three weeks. So. It's not like a sad goodbye. It's, it's not, not like, like I'll saying, see you next week. Yeah. It's not like saying goodbye to your fiance or anything. Uh, it's gonna suck. Yeah, it's gonna really suck. Uh, I'm gonna stop vlogging. Thanks for watching and... Oh, one of the comments was about our new outro was the most liked one. It was saying that we have to... The, did you piece out from Justin Pretend Gabriel? Pretend to kiss and then... And then, yeah, kiss and cover the thing. But I don't... I don't know how I feel about that. I don't get it. Like... Oh. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like it's too cheesy. That's just adding more. Like I was trying to get one that takes away from the cheesiness <laughs> and that just added more to it. Let's just rhyme. But I do it all the time, so it doesn't even matter. You got a full bladder. Bars. We have to end this video. Sorry, I thought you had a hole in the back of your shirt, then I realized it was I have fashion. holes all over my shirt, baby. <laughs> I have, look at this hole. Look at this hole. It's for fashion. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Peace out. From Jess. And Gabriel. Uh, we are really figuring out a new <laughs> outro. Say peace out. Peace out. From Jess. And Gabriel. <laughs> Gosh. I'm too tired for this crap.